Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and I've been playing around a little bit with Android 5.0. We've got some material design and lollipop goodness going on here, but the one feature I've been most excited to try out has been USB audio. So my super messy tabletop here is to showcase one feature which has been long overdue the Android ecosystem. So from this Shield tablet, we have a little USB adapter which then is connected to my Blue Yeti Pro. And just so you can hear what's going on, I have my Yeti Pro plugged into a little HMDX jam classic speaker. That way I don't have to try and feed you audio from my headphones. Now from any phone or tablet in the past that has had any kind of USB host support, we've been able to power USB microphones. They'll turn on, but Android has not known what to do with audio hardware. As long as your device has some kind of USB host capability built into that micro USB jack, you should be able to take advantage of much better audio hardware. To test this feature out, we're just gonna do a little audio playback to start. And of course, just as I start this test, my speaker dies. So through the magic of editing, I have plugged this in and it's now charging. We should be able to run this test now. Hey everybody, some gadget guy here. And you know what I hate? When people rank phones in really boring lists, this year I'm going to focus on the five phones which made the best impression on me as a Okay, so we've got audio playback coming from the speaker and it's really hard to talk over myself talking. So I'm just gonna dial back the volume from the mic. We can control the playback volume totally from the blue microphone. That is super exciting for me being an audio geek. That actually brings up a funny little situation that you probably haven't had to deal with in the past on Android hardware as this has its own mic and I was using it to power an external speaker. I ran into a situation where you can actually cause this system to feed back. But now we're gonna move on to a recording test. So we're gonna turn this off here and we're gonna go back home and I've installed a little easy voice recorder. So we're gonna tap that. We've fired up easy voice recorder. We're gonna hit the record button now. We're not seeing a whole lot of activity. I'm talking, I'm sort of a little further away from the mic than I probably should be. Oh, but wait, we can turn up the gain on the Yeti. So if we max that puppy out, now we're seeing a little waveform down at the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. This is recording off of the Yeti. That's really cool being able to see it pull an audio feed from an external device. And if I sit here and scrape the microphone, you can see it's, uh, you see a lot of activity down there at the bottom. And just to confirm that this isn't recording from some mic built into the NVIDIA, we can sit here and tap this. We're not getting anything. Just kind of keep uh, whacking it and then come back here and oh, look at that. I even got it to clip. Woo! <laughs> That's exciting. So folks, I'm super stoked. We, Android has finally taken a, a humongous step for those of us who really care about audio production, podcasting, the quality of your voice calls, if you're doing Hangouts or Skype calls. We can now use much better hardware than what's actually built in or having to go through janky workarounds like plugging in different types of microphone adapters into the 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks that we get. And as long as your mic or interface uses some kind of common USB audio interface driver, it should work on your tablet or smartphone using Lollipop. So folks, if you've upgraded to Android 5.0, drop me a comment down below if you played with any audio recording gear. I mean, basically we're just waiting on good apps now. If we can get something kind of like a garage band on Android, that would be really exciting for this type of setup. So I absolutely want to hear from you guys if you've been playing with this kind of stuff. I love getting into conversations like that. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can see more videos and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing these videos if you folks weren't out there sharing them with your family, friends, and on social media. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.